Hi there, Kevin Purcell for Church Tech Today, and today I want to show you the Olive Tree Bible Study app. This is running on my iPad, and as you open it up, you notice that it uh, first presents you with a copy of your, your favorite Bible. Uh, you can change this by going into the library. There's a button up here that lets you open up your library. There we go. We're going to use the uh, New King James Version. And notice I'm at Luke chapter 8. Uh, you can just swipe left and right. Tap on it to bring up that toolbar at the top. You'll notice at the top it's got different buttons. These are reading plans. Uh, this button looks like a shopping cart. Opens up the uh, store where you can buy new books. And then there's the settings window. The basic settings show up. Change the font size or you can select the dark theme or the light theme. You can use vertical scrolling or horizontal scrolling. Uh, you can change your font. I sort of stick with that. I like that one the best. A window sync. If you turn that on or off, it changes. Uh, we'll show you what that does in a minute. And then the advanced settings open up. There's more settings here. We won't go through all of those. Here's the search window. It allows you to search for something. So search for grace in the whole Bible. Notice I could also make it just in the law books. And you get your results here. Tap on them. Go to the location. Or you can copy it or add a note. Alright, and then the last one is a book ribbon. That's not exactly how you'd want to use it to bookmark. Uh, this is just kind of a temporary thing. And honestly, I just don't really use it much. Now, all the way in here on the left, you have another button. This brings in the menu from the side. Uh, some of the same things you can see there, but you get a few more. For example, saved passages. That's really the bookmark feature. Um, and then notice it says sync. That's because Olive Tree runs on all different platforms, at least the four major platforms, Windows, iOS, uh, Mac, and Android. And if you've got a Chromebook that runs Android apps, you can run it on Chrome OS as well. All right, I think what the most interesting feature in Olive Tree Bible Study is the Study Center. Open that by tapping that button at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's in other places in the other platforms. And when you open that up, you're going to get four buttons across the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's at the top, say on Mac or OS uh, or on Windows 10. But uh, these four tabs at the bottom offer four different tools. One is called the resource guide. And the resource guide is kind of like a digital research assistant. Now that digital research assistant will go and search your entire library for information based on the passage that you're currently looking at. All right, so let's go back to our Luke chapter eight. Okay, now notice I did that by hitting this button right above in the green toolbar, uh, which shows you where you're at presently. And we were at verse uh, 22, so let's go to verse 22. If you tap on verse 22, hit the more button and start page at, then that'll put that at the very top of the page. So over here in the resource, notice we were in Exodus, but now it's showing uh, information from Luke. So we'll open the Christian, stand Christian Standard Bible study notes. Uh, we can also see that I've got some notes in this area. I've taken a note on Luke chapter 8, verse 22. Uh, related verses. These are cross-references. So the uh, since we've got the New King James open, we'll open the cross-references that we would find in the New King James. And that opens up a window that pops up. See that little arrow in the upper left? If I open that, it'll open up either in the main window or in the parallel window. On a Mac or a Windows computer, it'll open up in its own window. Uh, on top of the, the main window. It shows you all your information. Now, if you want to change what's in here, you can go into settings, advanced settings, and then resource guide. Now the second tab is the parallel window, and it really just opens up a book related to this passage in parallel so that you'd have two at once. So this is just like, don't worry about the resource, resource uh, guide. I just want to open up the uh, New King James Version and the Christian Standard Bible to the same passage. You can do that. 
or go to notes. This will just bring up your notes, starts with showing your categories. I'll show you that in a minute. And then the last one is lookup, which is sort of like searching, but uh, more topical based searching. Right All right, now. so let's say we want to play with a note. We'll bring up our note here again. If I tap on this little button in the upper right corner with the three dots, I can change the category. Notice we had those categories in there. Maybe I'm doing sermon notes for this one. I can also change the icon. Notice over here uh, on the left side, next to the verse 22 of Luke 8, it's got a little black note icon. If I wanted that to be a heart or a red heart or a red note icon, I could do that. And then I can also share this note with other people using the share features. That's gonna be a little bit different in the other platforms. I'm just showing you what it looks like on the iPad. Uh, you can, it looks pretty similar on an Android tablet or an Android um, app on the Chromebook. Uh, it's a, quite a bit different on Windows and Mac. Now there's one feature that I can't show you on here, so we're gonna switch over and show it to you in, um, the Mac version. All right, so if you open up your library, notice you also have the quick details down here. Notice you can freeze the details by hitting the control key. So for example, I've got the uh, Strong's New King James Version open. And when I hover over one of these words, the Strong's books, it shows me the Strong's number entry uh, for that book. Now if I hit the control key, that freezes, and I can scroll down and see the whole entry there. Or what you could do, if you didn't have that open, you could just click on the word, and the Olive Tree Enhanced Strong's Dictionary will open. But notice the two buttons at the bottom, aside from reading what's here, you can search for it. So let's search, and notice it has searched for the Strong's number behind the word happened, and I can find all the entries there. If I wanted, I could open this up in a new window, this search, or if I go back, I can do a lookup on this word, the Greek word genomai, and it will show me that entry in all of the books that show that word. So like basics of biblical Greek, I can find out what it says about the word there, or I can go into Mounts' complete expository dictionary, all right, so there's one more thing I want to show you real quick, and that is when you tap on a verse number in the olive tree, notice this menu that pops up. And each of these items on the menu will do something specific. Uh, copy, obviously copies it so you can paste it in other places. You can highlight it, and it brings up this highlight menu, so you can choose which kind of highlighter you want. Uh, you can add a note, which we've already done. You can save this, and this becomes part of your saved passages in the menu. Uh, it's sort of like a book form feature. Share puts it uh, in a, or opens it in the uh, iOS share feature. And then the guide. That's just a quick way, if you wanted to, you could leave the resource center, or the, the study center closed, and use this instead. And then there's a more button, and with that start at page, it puts this verse at the very top of the page. One of the things I want to give you a tip on is if you're going to use the copy feature, make sure you go into the settings, advanced settings, and then copy verse, and turn on or turn off things like verse numbers or citations, depending on your preference. If I'm doing a range of verses, I want to... Uh, have the verse numbers in there. So for example, if I go into copy, it's going to bring this up and I hit the up arrow or the down arrow to change the range. So if I wanted to do the entire passage that we were looking at, I would do uh, the up arrow until it says 22 to 55, and then you hit the copy for four verses at the bottom. You can also get to these options from here if you'd like. So that's the uh, menu. 
the pop-up menu on uh, Olive Tree on, on the Versus. So that's Olive Tree on an iPad and also on a Mac. It looks very similar on a Windows computer as well as on an iPhone or I, uh, Android phone. And of course on Chromebook running Android apps. Thank you for watching.